you know it's time to call it off and give it away, Uncle Sam. Marching into other countries like you did with Iraq and Saddam. Plotting overthrows, masterminding coups. Bumping off national leaders, putting someone else in their shoes. You say you're the world's policeman, but you just cause pain and fright. Interfering in another country's as if it's your natural birthright, but what good does it do for you, or anyone else for that matter? Causing so much mayhem and slaughter and making innocent people scatter. With your high-minded approach that everyone must come for the ride because you're bringing them democracy and God is on your side. What? Trampling over local ground, destroying historic ways of life, impinging on their worshipping, separating husband, child and wife and then when the damage is done. At the end of this ridiculous affray, you pack your bags with all the loot, claim victory and then walk away. Well, it's still an unholy mess in Iraq. You haven't yet another go at Iran. You haven't learnt one thing at all from the disaster that was Vietnam. Since 1945, you claim to be expert in the art of war, but even the battle for Korea ended in a one-all draw. From Granada to Laos, Guatemala to Cuba, Indonesia to the Congo, from Haiti to Honduras, Liberia, Sudan, Ecuador, Brazil, the Balkans and Libya, the Philippines, Ghana, Lebanon, Nicaragua, Chile, Bolivia, the Dominican Republic, Somalia, El Salvador, Angola, Oman, Syria, Panama and seven years bombing Cambodia. Now the world shakes its head, staring at a broken Afghanistan, 20 years of dim witted madness, strafing an already barren land. This is how it always ends. The corrupt government imploding, the army you trained collapsing, cause you underestimated your opponent. Give it a break, United States. Learn a lesson after all these years. Give it away, trying to rule the world. Just ends in death, misery, and tears. Show them some compassion, redistribute the nation's wealth, forget about plundering other countries by bombing and by stealth. The world is just so tired of you as a cross that you maliciously roam. There's a lot of truth in the old saying that pleads, Yankee, go home. Start looking after your own people, the illiterate and the working poor, the homeless and helpless and oppressed. Knocking on charity store.